Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the data series. Today we're going to be implementing polynomial regression in Python. I plan to go a bit quicker in this episode as we've already implemented two algorithms in Python in the past. The first thing that we should do is to download our data and save it in a folder called project data. There is a link that I've provided in the description which you guys can go onto my github and download the zip from there. In that folder you then define whether data p and you can simply transfer that to your local disk by just copying and pasting it into a folder called project data. So if you open up this CSV file, we can see all of our data is here. So now we need to read this data into Python. I've already imported all of the libraries which we've used in the previous episodes, so pandas, which is used for data manipulation, and then we use matplot library for plotting our data and numpy for some linear algebra operations. So let's now read our data into Python. We can do that by calling a variable, so whether data p and then pd.read csv and then we need the file path of where our data is located so if we go onto our folder we can copy this and then the title of our csv file is whether data p.csv and then we can display that by simply writing the variable we're now going to set our input x to pressure and our output y to humidity we can do that with the following code so we do so we do x equals whether data p and we use two square brackets this essentially converts our whole entire pressure column into a 2d array which is which into a 2d array and then we just give the name of our column which is pressure so all of these pressure values are now stored in our x variable and then we set y to whether data p dot humidity basically storing all of these humidity values as a variable y but they're going to plot our data by doing plt dot scatter x comma y and then we'll add some labels like so if you run this code we can see our humidity plotted against pressure we see that this forms a roughly this forms a sort of bowl shaped curve which reminds us of y equals x squared so now the next step in polynomial regression is to pre-process our data. Um, to do so, we can call a, a function from the scikit-learn library from scikit-learn.preprocessing import polynomial features. We're also going to import our linear regression model from the scikit-learn library. So we're going to do from scikit-learn.linear underscore model import linear regression. So next we're going to set a variable which will do our pre-processing for us. So we're going to do pre underscore process equals polynomial features and we're going to set the degree here to 2. So essentially what we're doing here is we're setting the variable pre-process to the function of polynomial features degree 2. So we're now going to apply our pre-processing function to our input data pressure and essentially what it's going to be doing is it's going to be converting all of our pressure data into a new set of inputs with a column of ones, a column of pressure, and a column of pressure squared. I go through in detail why we do this in my previous episode of understanding polynomial regression. So to do so, we name a new variable and we call it x poly, where we're going to transform our data into. We're going to set that equal to preprocess dot fit underscore transform, and then x. So we've converted all of our pressure values here into a set of new inputs. This E plus 0, 0 essentially means we're going to keep the decimal place where it is. E plus 0, 3 moves this decimal place three places to the right. So this will become 1014.4, which corresponds to our pressure, our raw pressure values. So this whole column here corresponds to our pressure values. And this last one, E plus 0, E plus 0, 06 shifts this decimal place six places to the right which essentially gives all of our pressures squared. So let's now implement our linear regression model on our, new, on our newly transformed data, which can be thought of as multiple linear regression as we essentially have another variable now called x squared. So we'll define our model as PR underscore models, or then we're gonna call the linear regression function from scikit-learn. We're now gonna fit our new transformed data x poly to y, and we can do that by doing PR underscore model dot fit and x poly comma y. This is essentially calculating our theta 0, theta 1 and theta 2. And we're now going to set all of our predicted 
humidity values for all of our pressure by doing y underscore predict equals pr underscore model dot, dot predict. And lastly, let's now display our model on our data. So we're just going to get our plot again. And we're going to change the color of all of our points to black. And now we're going to add our model. So we do plt.plot and then we're going to do x comma y underscore predict. So if you run this code, here you go. So this is our new, so this is our polynomial regression model of all of our predicted values for pressure. To see what values of theta zero, theta one, and theta two we have in our model, we can extract that by using the following code. So we set theta zero equals equal to PR underscore model for intercept. And then we're gonna do a underscore theta one, theta two equals PR underscore model dot coefficient. And the reason why we have this underscore in this first place is because the PR model dot coefficient contains three values and the first value is zero which has no effect on our model. And then lastly, let's display theta zero, theta one, and theta two onto our notebook. We run this code, here's our values. So let's now use our polynomial regression model to make some predictions. So let's say we wanted to see what kind of humidity we would get out of a pressure of 1007. We would expect it to be around 0 0.7, but let's just test that. So to do so, we'll define a new variable for our predicted value, we'll call it y underscore new. So that equal to PR underscore model dot predict. And then let's put 1007 and let's now print Y underscore new. So, so this should come up with an error. And the reason being is because this 1007 has not been pre-processed into one 1007 and 1007 squared. So this is not in the suitable format to be inputted. If we run this code, there we go, we get an error. So what we need to do is we need to transform this 1007 into 1, 1007, 1007 squared. And we've already defined a function that does that for us and we called it preprocess. And we transformed the whole data set by using preprocess.fit underscore transform x. But here we just want to transform 1007. We're going to do pre underscore process dot fit transform and then just 1007. So if we run this code now, it should work, yep. So here we have a humidity value of 0 0.7164. So let's now plot this predicted value on our data plot to see whereabouts it would lie. So to do so, we're just gonna copy our code from above to get the same plot. And we're just gonna add, so we're gonna do plt.scatter, then we're gonna do 1007, and then our predicted value, which was y underscore new, and then we'll set the color equal to red. So if we run this, we can see now our predictive value of humidity is up here, which is sort of expected if we were to have a pressure of 1007. So let's now see how we can evaluate this model. So to do so, we can import a function called mean squared error from the scikit-learn library. So I went through the mean squared error in my previous episode. What this function can essentially be thought of is it calculates the average distance all of our data points are away from our model. So we're now going to import this evaluation metric of mean squared error from the scikit-learn library. To do so, we can do from sklearn.metrics import mean underscore squared score error. So the mean squared error requires two inputs, and that's our actual data y and our predicted data y hat. So we're going to do mean underscore squared error, and then we're going to do y, which is our actual humidity values, and y underscore predict which is all of our predictive values. If we run this, we get a mean squared error of 0 0.0033. So here we have the model y equals a plus bx plus cx squared. If you wanna now include the variable x cubed, we can do that quite simply by just changing the polynomial feature degree to three. If we change this and we run this here, so we have a new column which is, which is essentially pressure cubed and let's now see how that affects our display here. So it has sort of changed a little bit. So if we try to extract the thetas from our model, this will come up with an error because we now have a theta three, which we'll add here. We'll do theta three, and we'll display that. I'm gonna run this here. So there you go. So here's all of our parameters. We notice now that here's changed quite a bit and our predictive value might change a little bit as well. So there you go, it's decreased. We can visually see how that has an effect by running this code here and our mean squared error has decreased significantly. So we might want to consider using an x cubed model 
And if you guys want to add a to the four, a to the five, you can do that simply by changing by changing the degree in our polynomial features. I hope you guys are now able to implement polynomial regression in Python on any data set where you notice some sort of polynomial relationship. We need to be careful of adding too many variables into our model as we might run into something called overfitting. So I plan to dedicate my next episode on how we can overcome overfitting and underfitting, which will be very useful for future episodes. The code for this can be found in the description. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, for all of my episodes, I write an article on Medium. So if you guys can't be bothered to go through this whole video and watch me speak, you can go onto my Medium article, which I've linked in the description. Thank you guys very much for watching.